Well, just wanted to give an update. Um, I haven't really been inside the colonies for a couple weeks now, and not gonna get into them for another couple weeks, but I'm actually gonna go look at a couple yards right now that are the bigger colonies, seeing how the honey flow is doing, or if I need to add another box, just because I will not be in them, managing them. They're all single brood chamber. Um, I do have a yard here with about 15 nooks that I'm gonna go to afterwards and make a cell builder. I'm gonna try to start grafting soon and get ready for splits after the mesquite honey flow. Thing about it is the mesquite, it's like hit or miss right now, probably about 25% blooming, but a bunch of bloom in the next week or two by looking at the trees. So I'll uh, give y'all an update as we go and kind of update y'all with some video. Hey everybody, well, um, hopefully you could hear with this mic. Uh, we're here looking at a four deep colony. Um, I haven't really been in these in the past couple of weeks. I shook them down to single brood management and then uh, let any brood emerge so I could use it as a honey super. Um, the mesquite flow hasn't bloomed too much yet. We have a bunch that are about to bloom. Some have bloomed. So what I'm doing is, you know, I'm not going to be out here for the next couple of weeks. So I came just in case they do need more room. I could give another box for them to work on, especially because they do have drawn comb. I could give them some foundations to work on, but hopefully you can hear me okay. Um, I don't know how much memory I got, but let's see. Now this yard here, this is one of seven yards that I have now. They're a bit feisty. But that's how they all are here in West Texas. So give a little bit of smoke. Like I said, I'm just checking to make sure I have enough room. I'm going to pull out one of the middle frames. Just to see. Not a lot of bees up here. There's some. They're starting to fill with nectar. I'm going to go ahead and pull this box off. Go over to the next box. That does have some weight on it. Now I only have nine frames in each one of these, I'm trying to get them to build it out, the comb nice and fat. They did draw a lot of these combs, um, probably three deeps worth of comb in early spring. Oh yeah, they've got nectar and all that there. So they've got room here, I'm gonna keep going down. Like I said, these are just kind of spot checks. Don't have time to, a little bit of weight don't really have too much time to uh, go into it. So this one has 10 frames because it had some empty undrawn foundation. So let's see what they look like. They've been drawing it out. Uh, they've been starting. Not the best. We got some better on this side with some capped um, honey down here. So they're starting to work up. They're capping right there. They still got empty spots, so I really don't need to look much more. They got plenty of room to fill these three deeps up. I'm not gonna mess with them. I could look at the brood nest just for y'all real quick. And like I said, I haven't really looked at them. So I don't know if they've swarmed or what. Ugh, that one's got some weight to it. Hopefully the wind's not too much in the mics. And the bad thing about that is putting the queen excluder on, I got a bunch of dead drones in it because they can't get through. Let's make sure we have a laying queen in here okay. I don't have time to take my time anymore. I'm all in the mid 40s probably on colonies and they're either good or they're not. Cat brood, beautiful cat brood there. Hopefully y'all can see that okay. One, two, three, four, five. A lot of frames of cat root. Look at that. Every, I got like, like a little point cell looking there. But I don't have time to look. What I can do is tip this over. See if we got any queen cells. Not that I can see. 
So I'm going to call that good. Hopefully, ready. Hopefully I don't mess with the queen there. But yeah, scoot these back together. Queen excluder back on. Throw it back together. That's how quick it needs to be when it comes to honey season. Ugh. So this one, that's a deeper, a fuller box. So I'm going to bring that higher and bring the more empty one down. So hopefully the nectar flow does pop off pretty good. And we can get three deeps out of one colony. Would be awesome. And go. Uh. Ain't nothing to it but to do it, right? Cool, so there's that inspection there on a four deep. I'm gonna bring you out here to see y'all can see. We've got some cat claw out here, which that's blooming okay. Mesquite, you can see they're about to pop off. There's a good piece of mesquite right there. Excuse the wind, but it's about to start blooming good. Some more cat claw out here, looking good. And all this is just mesquite trees around here. So let's go to another big colony. I brought boxes just in case I needed to add them, but as of uh, hopefully y'all could see there. I didn't mean to stop it earlier. Let's see what these girls look like. Again, most of mine are from removals. I could add a box if I need to on this. I don't think we're gonna have peak honey flow for another two, three weeks. Let's turn that around. Ooh, they actually have a lot of honey. All right, so the wind blew that down. So hopefully you can see okay. Now this colony here, they've got a lot of comb, a lot of burr comb. I'm giving them some smoky here. I'll probably add another box to them because oh yeah that's full and they're starting to cap some on the corner I kind of messed that up I know you can't see hopefully that's better but you can see it's full of nectar starting to cap it and all of the frames look like that on this box so they're about to start Oh yeah, that's got some weight to it. That's good. They got cups down here. Don't see how there ain't no root or anything. That actually looks like a swarm cell, but that one did have. That's crazy. Looked like a swarm cell and it had a larva, so we'll double check. Okay, so this was an empty, a box of empty foundations. I gave them a couple weeks ago. Let's see if they drew it out any, and it looks like they have. So I gave them something to work on. Look at that. And it's full of nectar too. Wow. So they'll be capping this as well. Look at that here. They drew all that out. There's nectar inside of it. Be capping that soon. I'm actually going to give them another box. Because... Look at the bottom of that. Looks good. We've got our brood nest here. I run single brood chamber during the nectar flow. Just packed full of bees. we got two deep supers that are full. And I'm going to continue going. Just wanted to show you all really quick. Just wanted to show you all what the frames look like when they have nectar. Hopefully you all can see it shining in there. This is freshly drawn out this year. Nothing but nectar in there. They'll cap it soon. Gonna add another box to this one here. It'll be a four deep when I'm done. That's a single brood chamber there. And we've got two deeps. Gonna add another deep to it. Nice West Texas area. 
that fresh white wax is a sign of a nectar flow we're gonna have to add another box to this they are expanding like crazy this is the third box they're all deeps and they're already capping as well all right so this here is the water meter removal i did a couple weeks ago that were jam-packed and they're still bearding now um they had tons of honey this was drawn out medium so let's see if they have that full one this was an empty box let's see if they've drawn out foundations quite a bit of bees up here shake that down give them some smoke and let's see what we've got here they've drawn out one two three four five six they haven't drawn the outside frames so what i'm going to do is put those towards the middle you can see they're still working on this side but look at that they've already filled it up drawn whatever they did and filled it up so this is ridiculous this is a great colony i've only had this colony for less than a month we're right out of month and like you hear they've drawn that out and they're capping that as well so you can see the beautiful nectar in there oh yeah looking great so like i said i'm gonna push uh these frames that aren't drawn out yet they haven't touched them nearly yet i'm gonna put those towards the center i'm probably gonna have to add another box to this just because i'm sure that medium is also full okay see they're drawing that out as well so i'm actually still gonna set this one here kind of put that here kind of force them to work these empty frames and since there'll be another 10 days or so since i get back i'll add another box as well but uh three six nine ten i'm also going to check this medium box oh uh, yeah that's got some weight let's give them a little bit of smoke like i said this was drawn cone from last year and i probably only should have put nine frames in here i may do so but some of these frames are fat oh yeah you can see they're still feeling that as well capping the top this ain't the best light for y'all but this is beautiful i'm definitely gonna i'll probably under super just to force them to walk through that box look at this look at this just beautiful already so i'm gonna take this box off like i said this was a removal i did and they're actually pretty dang calm oh yeah that's got some weight to it so i'm just gonna get uh I'm going to go ahead and get it empty deep, place it right on top. This is what my nook looks like in a week. Drawn comb all the way to here, all the way to here, and then this and I gave to him, but plumb full. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, probably six really good nooks that are jam packed. And I want to keep them as nooks because I just want them as resource colonies. But you can see here, that's a good pack nook. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a cell starter at the same time. I wanna start grafting here in a week and a half. So I'm gonna go through these nooks, any cat brood, I'm gonna steal from them to hold these back and to go ahead and uh, boost the, the cell starter. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is find the queen because I do not want to take her with me because that will defeat the whole purpose. But that's a good frame of brood. If I could find the queen on five of these nooks, isolate her and put all the other bees. That's a beautiful frame though. Good brood, good nectar up top. Just got to find these girls. These are from splits this year but watch out girls hopefully 
I could do this, get them a strong cell starter. That's all nectar. So if I find the queen, well, I kind of have to find the queen. There's some good brood. God, that's beautiful. Look at that. Like I said, these nooks would be booming here in a couple weeks when I come back. They may be overfilled. So I need to pull them back some. And uh, make a cell starter at the same time. So that has good brood and food. So I'm going to set that to the side. I only got two frames left. So hopefully we could find. That's why I'm doing it with nooks as well. Because I don't want them to get too fat or too overgrown. And also only five frames to look for the queen. If I could find her. I know she's in here somewhere. Maybe hiding against the wall. Normally I find them right away, and of course it's when I'm trying to record a video. Where you at, girl? Try to blow. I mean, last thing I want to do is chance it, make a cell starter, and the queen is in the cell starter. A queen or two queens really not enough bees on here to take so I'm gonna put this one back and then go through these again so if you see the queen please let me know this is old comb I gave them that was drawn out and I haven't marked a lot of these newer ones why I don't know I probably should have and make this a lot easier Let's see here. Screw it. Let's chance it. Maybe I can come back in a few days. She's not in there. My luck, she'll get in there somehow. But I'm going to make a self starter down here. As much cat brood as possible. So here in 10 days, all those are emerged. Nothing but nurse bees. I'm going to look at this room here. I'm going to take two from this one. If I was the queen, I'd be on here somewhere. But I'm not the queen, so. Normally, I'd recommend doing this over a queen excluder, but this is just kind of a hurry up deal. Okay, I don't see her on this side. The reason I want to take this one is because it has food and brood. I really want to make sure, but it is what it is. So this will now be our start of our cell starter, hopefully. I hope the queen was at the bottom. Or on this frame somewhere. And I may not record all this video because I'll probably run out of storage. But I'll let y'all see what it looks like when I'm... Oh, there's a queen. She's a beautiful dark queen. So I know she's not in the self-starter. So I'm going to put that there. And fill this one back up.